Good afternoon, everybody. Lance with Wheeling with the Wendy's. Uh, thought I'd geek out a little bit. I get a lot of questions about our solar and Battleborn lithium battery setup. So I thought I'd show a little bit. Uh, did some testing today and thought I'd show you the uh, results. Um, what we have is eight 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium batteries and I have Magnum equipment I've got a 3000 watt uh, hybrid inverter and a PT100 solar controller and I've got 2000 watts of solar on the roof um, as of right now they are not tilted we are in full sun right now it's uh it was a little cloudier earlier but we've got a good solar harvesting day. And what I wanted to show is, as I come in here, everybody says you cannot run air conditioning with solar and uh, batteries. So I thought I would do a test and run, we have a 15,000 watt or 15,000 BTU AC unit in the middle of our 42 foot fifth wheel. I have that one AC unit wired into the inverter sub panel. The other two are on shore power. So we started today testing and I've got every half hour I took uh, some, some readings to get some data and, and see where we were. So we started this morning off at 94% at 10 o'clock. Uh, weren't getting a whole lot of, you know, solar at that time, but around 12 o'clock was when the AC started running nonstop. At that point, basically, I was using 5% every half hour. I went in half hour increments to get my data and pretty much like clockwork, every half hour it was dropping 5%. So from 12 o'clock, which is when it really started not cycling and it was just running nonstop. From 12 o'clock, we were at 93%. And in three hours, we dropped down to 63%, which is exactly 10% an hour. So uh, we're pulling about 150 amps and getting in around 75 amps. So we're, we're supplementing our power by half, basically, if you wanna look at it like that. And I have the AC set at 74 degrees. It's held throughout the day at 77 to 78 degrees. So while this isn't you know perfect scenario and you wouldn't wanna do it every day, I wanted to test it and see where we were. It's nice to know that if we need to to run the AC here and there without having shore power, that we can. And it's actually working. I was in here working today and I was comfortable. I did have a small, one of those little tornado fans. I had one of those blowing from a distance on me just to have a little air movement because 78 degrees isn't, you know, it's not perfect, it's not bad, but we usually keep it. 72 ish um, our residential or our refrigerator is not residential it's a two-way fridge and i've had that on propane so really the big draw that we had was the ac unit i wanted to uh really be able to see what the data would be just for that so anything else added to that would would uh make a difference we also have reflectix in just about all of our windows at least the top half of them and we've got the blackout blinds so while we've been running the lights during the day because it's pretty dark in here everything's pretty much closed up i wanted to get the best case scenario and see where we stood so i hope this helped somebody out there somewhere um i do get a lot of questions about our solar setup and our and our battery set up and what we have how, how much amp hours we have in our bank and what type of batteries and blah 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 so hopefully this answered some of it and kind of broke that myth that you can't you can it's not feasible and it's not a perfect world but you can run ac 
on a solar and lithium battery bank. Um, without the solar, it would have burned it down way quicker because like I said, I was supplementing half of what I was drawing from solar. So uh, everybody have a great Labor Day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.